Hello. Hey, Doug. Uh, Shrikan told me that uh, he wouldn't be able to make it, but but it's fine. We we chatted. Okay. Well, as long as we've got the, the, the knowledge of everybody that that can give us. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so we we shot it, and he and he's fine. For example, with what I had been sending you through email. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, as long as, as long as we got the expertise to to make it Hello, hello. Hi. 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 Unfortunately, it seems we need to keep a few more minutes. Hello. Hey, Matt. Hello, hello. So let's get started, I guess. So as per usual, um, this call is already recording, um, but everyone is free to join without Nick, without talking or even under a different name. Uh, we don't judge, um, just FYI, so you're aware that, that all of this is being recorded. So let's start with Sano's due diligence. I hope everyone read this document. Who read it? Big show of hands, I see all of you. Okay, two or three people, the rest didn't. I've been, uh, I've been off the grid on purpose without even a laptop for a couple of three weeks almost. And I'm just back uh, this week, so I have not read it. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I, I think we have a better ratio than last time. I think we also have two, two attendees left, so that improves the ratio even more. But I think we actually have a, a, an actual somewhat decent rate of attendance, I just need to get something from my throat. Um, okay, so I'll also throw it into the chat so everyone can just jump into the document. As with the last document, I would highly suggest we try and, and walk through at a certain pace. Um, so to make it explicit, everyone Everyone should feel more than welcome to raise objections or anything at any time, no matter if this is your first call or your 10th call on this call. Um, 
you should feel comfortable actually putting your, your comment or your name or your agreement under this. That being said, I'll still try and make it quick. So, um, yeah. Should we, uh, I can screen share if you want. That actually makes sense. Okay, I hope you can see my screen where I'm logged in with the wrong user to make any edits. Yeah, you can see. Perfect. So let's walk through this as per last time. We know that uh, Thanos is self-governing. We know that there is a provision in place to, to limit um, take over exempts by, by any single company. We know that Thanos has a code of conduct. Um, should I open it or is everyone happy with just acknowledging that this is the case, what I just talked about? Good. So, um, ah, someone put in the comment section for me. Thank you. So let's play call for consensus. Sick. Sorry for the commotion in the background. The little ones are having death match. So a uh, call for consensus. Sick observability is happy with the section above. All agreed? Anyone not agreed? I think we missed the first one. Project self-governing. The first no. one. Ah, you put this in there as well. Okay, yeah. sorry. I okay, yep. <laughs> so for, for that same call for consensus, my suggestion is take observability is happy with the section above. Very good. Are there any production deployments of Thanos? Uh, again, I think most people on this call will be aware of several of the production um, deployments, but if you're not, um, Improbable is still using it. Yep. Um, they're using it in production um, and they have quite a large installment or installation. I know this by myself. Um, Alibaba is also not, not small, Red Hat neither. So long story short, call for consensus, same suggestion as before. SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, anyone disagreeing? Very good. The next section is about the CNCF principles and alignments with the principles of the CNCF. Transparency uh, and guidance and technical uh, governance quality. Um, we already talked about the governance above, or at least briefly, and I, I read it and I agree with that, it's, that it ticks all the boxes. That is a duplicate question, which we need to suggest to TUC to, to change the, the template. Same here, um, that's also dupe, and same here, that's also dupe. So we'll be walking through those in a second. The question, if it's useful for cloud native deployments, I think we can agree with this. Of course, it's obviously following the Prometheus and thus the Kubernetes way of, of doing things. And if it has an affinity for how CCF wants to operate, I would also agree with this as it's literally the Prometheus way of operating just with ob object storage to allow for scaling. So same call for consensus. I would once again suggest uh, that we put in SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, any disagreements? Very good. So, um, this is about the design of, uh, of Thanos and that uh, all components will, will not uh, burn down and, and, and explode if put under load. Reliability concerns, or should we just like, so now we come to a large section. So quick show of hands or, or do people want to read this? So we can just pause for like two or three minutes and everyone can read through this. Or do you just want to walk through this at, at pace? Both is fine by me. I just want to, to feel the room. 
Even if you think your opinion doesn't matter, your opinion matters, you're more than welcome to speak up. You're actually invited to speak up. Hmm. Am I still online? Can someone just say something? Because I can't see video, because I'm sharing. Um, yeah, I, I can hear you. Like, I don't know, I think like most people who who actually re read this document sort of wastes their, wastes their time, right? So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. we can go through questions because people commented. Yeah, that, that is what I wanted to do anyway. And yes, it's at the point, but uh, I want, yeah, but then we just we just do what I intended to do because no one okay. spoke up. <laughs> okay. So, um, I would be happy with Bartek's reply to, to that question. Um, maybe um, maybe put uh, put in exactly this reference. That would be my personal feedback. Um, but that is my usual. Gotham had like very fair questions, and uh, the truth is is like kind of the thing that that is in progress as well. Um, but um, it's, it's kind of moving, things are moving towards improvement. Um, but yeah, fair questions. You know, my point is do it like this, what I just wrote and marked. Yeah. Because then um, you can also resolve the question basically and uh, you, you document what, what you replied for everyone else. So the next question, um, once again about scaling out. And this is already done, so, or is it merged? I actually didn't check the PR. I mean, Brian said, look good to me, so it's like merged already. Oh. <laughs> Personally, I'm also happy with your reply and link to so are there any other questions or comments regarding this section? Okay. So just for the record, I read through it and I was happy. So, oh, shit. Call for consensus. SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, any disagreements? Very good. Next uh, section is about usefulness in cloud native deployments and to a degree of, of being architectured in a cloud native style, which is one of the questions which you will also see improvement suggestions from the SIG, I dare say. Um, yeah, I read through it. I was happy with the replies. Uh, anyone else with comments regarding this section? Okay. So once again, call for consensus. I would suggest, as you would probably expect, the same wording. Seek observability is happy with the section above. All agreed? Any comments, disagreements? Very good. Next one. This is a dupe towards above, that there is an affinity to how CNCF operates and that the um, expectations of being a CNCF project are being understood which kind of gets a default, yes, of course, uh, there is quite some overlap with, with the Prometheus team. And as such, um, basically uh, that team grew along with CNCF, but yeah. So um, personally, I'm happy with that section. Are there any comments or questions regarding it? Very good. So call for consensus once more. SIG observability is happy with this section above. All agreed? Any disagreements? Nice. Then the question about being used in production, which is a um, dupe to the above. So I suggest without a lot of discussion, the same call for consensus, but you can discuss if you want. SIG observability is happy with this section above. All agreed, yes, no. Very good. 
Next one is about healthiness of committers and maintainers. Um, looking at, at the numbers, um, obviously Red Hat uh, invests most, but uh, there is a healthy, a healthy distribution of contributors. So in my opinion, we can make the same call for uh, consensus, sync observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, any disagreements? Very good. So next one, demonstrate a substantial flow of commits and merge contributions. Um, I would maybe suggest to also put a screenshot in, but I mean, we can even mentally reuse the screenshot from above. But uh, looking at the links before, um, I would be happy with that. Any questions or, or comments about, about uh, the distribution of, of uh, commits and merges? Okay, so call for consensus. SIG observability is happy with this action above. All agreed, any disagreements? Nice. CNCF alignment. Um, Bartek, remind me, is this also a copy and paste from, from the initial thing, same as with Cortex? That's correct. Okay. Are we lost, right? Yep, yep, that's correct. Yeah, okay. Cool. I, I expected as much uh, when I read through it, but I didn't. I didn't actually cross check. Okay, so um, given that CNCF already accepted this section above, I would suggest the same call for consensus. SIG observability is happy with this section above. All agreed. Any disagreements? Very nice. So. Um, the, there is a check if there is a design document and an overall design, which I know is available. Uh, yeah, let's not look at it. Um, any any questions or comments regarding uh, the design doc of um, of Thanos? So same call for. I see someone clicking around. If you need time, just say it, so. No problem at all. Yeah, okay, so call for consensus. SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed. Any disagreements? Very good. Yeah, uh, cloud native use cases. Um, I mean, that's kind of obvious. <laughs> um, yeah, for, for basically the whole section. Um, the fact that uh, infrastructure management and such is outside of scope is, in my opinion, completely acceptable. And not putting any any non-Prometheus service discovery mechanisms on top within the context of Thanos is also fully acceptable, especially due to the overlap, which would mean that if Thanos needed anything more, um, the project itself would be more than, than capable of implementing anything missing within Prometheus upstream and then basically uh, use it back in, in Thanos. So the out of scope is also completely fine in my opinion. So same call for consensus. Any questions regarding this section? Any objections? If not, and again, please speak up because I keep talking and no one else is talking. Um, good, so same call for consensus. Stick observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, any disagreements? Very nice. Failure modes and if they are being understood. Um, I read through it. I'm happy with uh, with everything which which I saw. Um, but this is actually one of the most interesting sections. So again, if you have any comments, any concerns, if you want to take some time to actually read through it, it's all fine. Um, you're more than welcome to uh, just just say so and Okay, then call for consensus as per the usual. SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, any disagreements? I'm happy with the level of detail personally. Very good. 
Yeah, yeah. Me too. It's I, I I like how how it's structured. I like how it's being thought about. So yeah. Um. What I think it's probably out of scope for the specific question, but I'm curious if there is either. It, it, are these things that are tested for in terms of regression? Um, but 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 again, I don't I don't want to torpedo anything. Um, like, what's the correlation between these failure modes to what's something that would be caught by automation? Um, I mean, please torpedo things. Like, this is how we can learn and give have some feedback. Like, uh, yeah, I can essentially um, say that. We try to test against those definitely, and um, especially in terms of regressions, we immediately kind of create a test if we find some certain bug that is happening and that we fix just to make sure we are not um, kind of um, re repeating that uh, pattern. Now, for this, I think uh, for especially for those distributed system failovers, it um, it is more there is definitely area for improvement to get more testing and particularly we are thinking about the receive component which is replicated and um you know everything um has to be reliable that if one node is down the replication will will cover you know and 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 this this node will um be joined again if it's up and for those things we recently think about you know kind of have some uh, Jepson style testing. Are you aware of Jepson? This is like a nice project for um, mm -hmm. fault injection um, in different um, areas. Um, so we are definitely thinking to kind of expand on this. And uh, yeah, I don't think it's it's well done in, in any kind of project in CNCF, right? So definitely uh, some room for improvement here, but we try our best. Yeah, I just add to that, like I remember we, already wrote a bunch of like tests which tests timeouts and things like that basically other weird failure conditions so we have definitely have some amount of tests that were like i i don't think it's obviously 100 percent, but yeah we try to do our best yeah. matt is there is any is there anything more which you would like to see handled here like for example explicit statements about all this or something um, I, I don't think per personally, again, no, I, I love that this is called out in, in the assessment. Um, it, it was just more a high level question. I think, um, the, the barrier, as I understand, not the barrier, but the, you know, to go from, uh, from incubation, uh, on to, to the final, uh, phase is where I, I would personally expect that kind of thing to be more complete. Um, but this is great. I mean, this is a, a, a deep level of analysis of what the failure modes are, and it's something that when published uh, developers that want to contribute to the project can use as a starting point. And, and a lot of this is in the Thanos docs as well. I was just more curious. Thanks. I think that's a very good feedback. Yeah. I mean, again, this is from sandbox to incubation, right? So this is, this is not like, you know, the the end state ultimately finally exactly. but thank you for documenting it at this level of detail other comments regarding this okay so call for consensus once again suggestion six observability is happy with the section above all agreed any disagreements Very good. Next one, trade-offs regarding performance, scalability, complexity, reliability, security, etc. PP. And if those are explicit, implicit, if, um, if anything is tunable. Yep. Um, I also read it. Um, I'm happy with it. There's one uh, comment which I have, which is relevant to this section, but not relevant to this document, which is why I didn't put in the comment. And I want to talk about this after we are done for maybe 30 seconds, but so for the context of this document review, I would once again suggest SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed? Any disagreements? 
Very good. Any important holes? Um, hi. Uh, like, sorry, I joined the call late. Uh, but I think we should also highlight on the security side some of the trade-offs that were made. Uh, I think it's the question at at the like at the bottom. So we still didn't got it. Okay. Because you made a comment, we will. I think we'll talk about it a bit later. Okay. No issues. So you're happy, Dolfo? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So, call for consensus. Sick observability is happy with the section above. All agreed? Any disagreements? Very good. Important holes. Yes, the helm charts. Um, I mean, this, this question is kind of weird because obviously the people who, who wrote these documents are the only ones who are qualified to actually judge the answer. So I, I dare say it's not a very good question, but uh, that being said, within the scope of what we can do within a document review, and I'm not implying that there are any holes which are being tested over, I'm just saying I can't, I, I don't feel I, I, I'm able to do due diligence on this beyond trusting the people involved. Yet, um, call for consensus. SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed? Any disagreements? Very good. Um, sorry, um, I think yes. Gotham wanted to discuss point five, so we already passed that. I, I was wrong. Doesn't uh, matter. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry. You mean in the section which is which is forward referencing? Uh, yeah, number five. You're almost here. Security, right? Yep. Uh, got them, you, ah, you mean that this can also be part of the question for for the below? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And here is no specific reference. Got them, you want to ask something about this, right? Yes. Um, so my like for multi tenancy, I like it's not baked into the project. It's a additional thing. I was just curious if it's possible for users to abuse that. Um, I mean abuse that, uh, it's a bit hard because we rely on proxies, right? So basically if you can abuse trick proxy into doing something, then yes, if you, like, like no, if, if your proxy is behaving well, which is outside of our scope, then no, basically proxy will ban you from like sending traffic to, to Thanos, right? So that would be like really hard unless like, I don't know, it's, I guess yeah. that's some kind of, you know, we don't do like query parsing or some kind of like, you know, um, basically like SQL injection type of things, which I and, feel it's really hard, right? And like, I know we want to move it to Prometheus community, but do you also uh, are looking into moving it to Thanos itself? Because if like... I think you should claim multi-tenancy as a core competency of Thanos as well. And having it part of the Thanos organization helps that instead of it being in a different organization. Uh, yeah, I think right now it's sort of, in, yeah, Prometheus community organization, whether it should be in Thanos. I, I guess we need to discuss it with other maintainers. Thanks for the uh, suggestion. I'll put it on our agenda. Yeah, there are, there are very good thoughts. Yeah, and I think we are, we're definitely moving it somewhere, but uh, I think the plan was Prometheus community. Would that be okay? I, I think it's still kind of controlled kind of by, by Prometheus ecosystem, I guess. I mean, like, I, uh, I think the idea is that we should move it away from that and claim multi tenancy to be a core competency of Thanos as well. That's just the feedback, because this is the first time I'm seeing that Thanos does multi tenancy while reading a doc. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but like, in fact, you can make Prometheus multi-tenant as well, thanks to this. Um, and I agree, it's, well, technically less secure than in-process authentication and like multi-tenancy. Um, so you need to kind of secure your maybe container, your, uh, you know, runtime environment. So definitely that's a, that's some trade-off here that maybe we should, we should point. Um, 
but definitely doable as well. I want to mention also that CNCF offers us some security audit. So hopefully we can, can have another kind of uh, very deep look on that. Yep. I'm, like, I'm happy with this, uh, like what's in the doc. I just wanted to point that out and discuss that a little bit. Yeah, very good, man. Okay. Jumping back towards the context of the of the of the um, explicit document review um, by adding more stuff and and making things even better and more explicit, I don't think we need to revisit previous sections and can just continue. But if anyone disagrees, please speak up. Good. So next one, code quality. Well, it's Bartik, so maybe we should just not pass them. No, <laughs> no in, in all seriousness, um, with uh, every time I, I actually did look at code, it was decent, so. Yeah. Oh, come on, what project wrote its own code style for Golang that has some official one? So I think that's kind of exceptional. Yeah, I know, so I know. Being not modest. <laughs> I'm spoiled by the Pearl style guys. I don't know, Tom hates me for saying this, but it's a really nice style guide. Um, but yeah, I, I know you have a style guide and I like it. So um, within the context of this document, I would, I would suggest the same call for consensus that SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, any disagreements? Very good. External dependencies and other dependencies, if they are being justified. Uh, I actually, I thought I had put a comment in about, about stating that you depend on vendoring in Prometheus stuff, which is totally fine, but I thought, I just thought it's missing in here because this is a significant part of the Thanos um, package, as it were. Um, but beyond that, I, um, and you can obviously discuss what dependencies are. I, I thought I, I wrote it in, probably it's open in some comment box where I didn't click submit. Yet within the context of this, so maybe at this, um, Bartek, can you do that? Yeah. Okay, perfect. It doesn't need to be now, of course, again, it's just adding okay. more. But I personally, I, I thought it was missing that, that you rely in large part on, on a distinct project, which normally is distinct, even though it will never diverge, obviously. But, yeah. So um, same call for consensus. SIG observability, is SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, any disagreements? Uh, maybe talk about vendoring in stuff that part of the development also happens in a different project, but you're part of that project with, with several people. Good. Release model versioning scheme. Um, everyone who's following the, the releases by Thanos will know that this is solid. So I would also suggest call for consensus. SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, any disagreements? Very good. CI/CD status. Um, yeah, I know that they're running CI jobs and they're usually green. <laughs> um, Matt, would you like to see something about regression testing in this section? Um, again, to go from, from sandbox to incubation to be able to, I, I, I don't know that we would want to say, you know, full regression suites are, um, are part of the minimum criteria. I'm um, apologies for the noise in the background. Um, um, yeah, so, so not personally, again, my, my question before was more, um, uh, just having been away for a number of weeks and, and not doing enough homework prior to this call. Um, no worries. Okay. 
I mean, certainly okay. if we wanted to articulate in that section what is and is not there, um, that's fine. But um, you know, as this is all in GitHub anyway, um, it's, I don't think it, I don't want to block anything uh, to get that that question answered. Okay. Okay. So, for everyone, obviously in this call, if you're happy with with the with what is in the document and if anything which was interesting in the discussion needs to go into the document then now is the time to say so i, I had um, one additional question about ci that i also had for cortex and that's and i'm assuming it's the case but uh you know other folks can replicate all of the ci results i mean it, everybody seems to be using that but i haven't looked at thanos specifically like if i want you know again I want to make forks of this and run it with my own GitHub Actions and my own Circle CI account. I'm assuming that that's possible to do. It's not hidden away or buried in a private way, and, yeah. or otherwise architected that that's not doable. It's definitely doable. One thing is that we test against, for example, uh, Google Cloud buckets and AWS buckets, so you would have to actually set up uh, like projects and buckets in those uh, cloud providers. Other than that, you can either skip those tests or just like yeah, copy paste the yeah. tests and run. And, and um, the 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 motivation for the question too, and maybe again optionally we could add it. But you know, if there are, I I for example, we're we're, we're running with Cortex, not Thanos today, uh, or will be soon anyway in production. Um, uh, but I'm more than happy for projects that we're using in in my setting. To contribute test results back, or maybe maybe I'm running some hardware or some storage that's different than what's tested upstream. Um, if there were a mechanism for me to report those results back to the community, I would love to do so. And 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 just in the spirit of like accepting contributions, not just for code but also for testing cycles, you know, there could be lots of folks in in the community that that want to do that. So. Again, I don't. I don't think this is anything that needs to hold up moving into incubation. But as feedback for the project, if if there's not a happy path to do that, consider it uh, because I'm sure folks might contribute. Right? And you could find more issues. Yeah, I think it's doable because we have everything baked into Makefile, so it's just just one Makefile command. Um, However, yeah, some documentation on, on the details, how to configure with external object storage might be, uh, yeah, worth doing. Yeah, I found in the past the complexity, the, the work is more on what do you do with all the results? Like, if, and again, I don't want to put a barrier to entry to get into incubation to solve that problem. I think it's CNCF wide, you know, if we could, if we could come up with some way to do that or see if other SIGs have already sorted this. Um, but anyway. uh, by results, you mean like performance results or like just test results that they pass or? I, 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 more, I more meant performance results. Like, you know, for folks running Thanos at production, there's a various topology, topologies and, and architectures and, you know, everything from, yeah, I don't want to take up a lot of time, but um, I would expect that the capacity of the community at large to contribute back for those willing to do so. Um, you know, for, for example, and again, this is about Cortex, not Thanos, but as we roll to production with, with Cortex, we'll have a whole separate staging environment that replicates our production environment running head, right? So that might be a different set of workloads and stuff that I'll have test results for uh, that I'd be happy to put back to the community. So, yeah. But again, I, I don't want to, I've already taken up too much time because for this document, I'm happy with it, but yeah. Okay. So, call for consensus. Sick observability is happy with the section above. All agreed? Very good. Licensing, it's Apache 2. Um, Sick observability is happy with the section above. All agreed? Kind of obvious, <laughs> yet wanted to make it explicit. Um, recommended operational models. Um, that's also fine in my opinion, that section. But again, speak up. If not, call for consensus. Seek observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, any disagreements? Very good. Why is this in a different color? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so there's Q and A with the project more or less. Um, I read through it, I was happy. And I think this is also copy and paste of, of something which we had before, correct? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, my audio glitched and I had a distraction. On the previous one with how we operate it, um, I see that there's JSON it. Is that the is that the recommended way to deploy Thanos or is there Helm or other mechanisms as well? Or are those kind of treated outside the Thanos project and are like, I, I could go look, I'm, I'm assuming there's a Helm chart somewhere. Is that is that not sanctioned or maintained or? Um, so yeah, right now Helm charts are basically uh, co community driven. And I think there are uh, like two or three people which are currently collaborating and uh, basically working on to merge the Helm chart into Thanos community repo. None of the maintainers actually use Helm, so that's why we don't have Helm charts right now, basically maintainer support. But uh, we will shortly have one which, which is in like a Thanos community organization and yeah, people will be able to actually use uh, basically community maintain uh, Helm repository. Also, there is uh, customized versions and yeah, a lot of stuff written by community. So just, okay. to add, just to add to this, like essentially we want to be focused on the project itself. And of course, as maintainers, we have, you know, kind of preferred way of deployment, but deployment model is not something that, you know, the project should recommend. It's rather what you already use on the infrastructure, what you already have your, as your best practice, right? Provilas, you use customize, we use JSONnet and sometimes, you know, operator because we have two Thanos operators as well uh, from different kind of uh, people. So I, I want to kind of make sure we are on the same page that we are trying to move this outside into community, however, help and make sure it's, uh, it has best practices, but we want to collaborate with the community instead of having this very, you know, controlled by us. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay. That's also consistent with a bunch of other projects that we've been finding, right? I don't have a huge personal love for Helm myself, but yeah. Sorry, Richard. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, just looking at the time, we specified 40 minutes for the due diligence. Um, we are beyond that time, but we are almost done with the document. So I would suggest we try, oh, I see so whoever put. Let's finish it. Yep. So the questionnaire, um, I read through it. I was happy with, with what was in there. Are there any concerns, any comments regarding uh, this questionnaire beyond what Michael put in? Um, or not. And I know it's quite quite a chunk. We can also take some time to read it if people want to, but then please just just state so so we know. Else personally I was I was happy with um, with the whole thing. Okay. Um, I don't know if Michael is on the call, else um, should we as the SIG require a few more vanity stats or uh, are we happy with, uh, with the document as is? Okay. I think um, we, I can like add the Docker polls or like, yeah, stuff like that, yeah. because we don't have anything else, I think. We no, no, I mean, that. Michael just wanted to uh, add some kind of example customer sizes of, of, of the deployments. Oh. Um, so I think this is something we can definitely do, but um, yeah, I don't think we require yeah. that from, from Cortex as well, uh, but yeah. I don't think so. We did, but okay. So uh, I mean, stuff like like yeah. I mean, I don't see answering this with more stuff as a hard requirement within the scope of this call of of um, agreeing with with the document. 
but um, more stats are always nice, even if it's just for sheer vanity. So um, yeah, I need to copy this. Same call for consensus. Yeah, I, I, I concur with the previous. Uh, I'm, this is great, I think. I, I'm, I'm happy with it in its current state. OK. Good, 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 good. So call for consensus on that section. Stick observability is happy with the section above. All agreed? Whoop, whoop. Are there any that aren't? I, I, I know that we folks don't have to speak and, and things, but we really do want to be inclusive of divergent views. Like if there are folks that have concerns, please. Like we heartily welcome <laughs> dissent or, or alternate um, opinions and views. So most of the time people don't speak up, which is kind of a pity because I really would like people to to speak up more. But just hey, we'll get there. Don't, don't be surprised if, if we don't get a lot of replies. So final call of consensus for this document. SIG observability accepts and is happy with the document as a whole. All agreed, any disagreements? Very good. I'd like to extend like, you know, again, a warm thank you for the authors uh, that, that put all this together. Um, you know, I'll, the level of detail is great. You know, it's, I think it's a, it's a good document and it's a good example like the Cortex one was uh, on, on this. And, and, and again, I think having this at this phase will make subsequent phases easier. Um, I'm fine having a slightly higher bar than some of the other SIGs um, on some of this because this feels to me like someone new to the project that says, hey, what Thanos can actually start at this diligence document and kind of very quickly have a good, well-rounded understanding uh, to, to, to be a contributor, which to me is one of the most important things about this. And this TOC can also spend, you know, a not crazy amount of time to quickly be able to evaluate it and have a starting point that's informed. So thanks. Thanks, Stu. Yep, I can also, I can only second this. Um, I like the level of detail and, and care which has been put into those documents. And technical review. So very good. We. Oh. Also, uh, before we're before we're done, just while well, the show time, if you haven't actually put your attendance in, oh, I see most people have added it in. Never mind. I got golf to do it in, in the background. Yeah. I, Thanks, I, didn't, I didn't add companies, so please add your companies and affiliations. Yep, good point. So, do we have two minutes for last topic on the agenda? Yes. All right, so let's just um, quickly mention what, what, what this is about and we can expand on this and, and talk more like in two weeks. Essentially the idea, if you click the link is, is on the mailing list. And the idea is that we are missing the connection between the kind of metric data into um, some kind of analytic use case, right? So that we, we have lots of nice solutions for gathering them, for storing long-term storage. Uh, in long-term storage, you know, those metrics, we have Cortex, Thanos, um, other projects, and we want to make use, analytic use of this data, right? And, and maybe switch from more monitoring, real-time monitoring, alerting use cases to also include maybe um, some OLAP and, you know, business uh, analytics and you know, intelligence. I think there is a missing link and it's super hard for those people, for data engineers to gather um, efficiently and discover the data that we have in metrics. So as a kind of Prometheus ecosystem, I would love to explore 
you know, possibilities to integrate um, this data into analytic form. So I'm looking for you to collaborate uh, for us together. So if you have any analytic system that you are using right now that you would love to connect with your metric data, for example, of any other source, just please mention on, on the, uh, for example, on the mailing list or, um, on, or on the ticket. Uh, also join us on uh, on Slack CNCF uh, analytics. Uh, I just created kind of the channel. We kind of are starting to have some technical discussions, what API should look like, what are the requirements. And I think we can talk more about that in the next um, Seek of Serenity call, but uh, there are some nice questions that we are looking forward to answer how we can move that forward. And second is like, is it really seek observability um, concept? I, I think given the charter that we all kind of contributed to, that's certainly in scope for this big's activities. Um, I'll, I look forward to, to talking in the future, but we're running a number of analytics and OLAP backends and we're doing specifically this. Uh, we've started and we have some plans uh, in our case, it's uh, Snowflake, MySQL, and uh, ClickHouse. Uh, but um, but yeah, I, I know we're we're short on time now. But um, does anyone else have an opinion? I mean, I think I can double check, but I think we called out this scenario uh, and this topic in in the charter explicitly as in scope. Yeah, I, I think so. Yes, um, but we still had some uh, concerns on the email uh, mailing list. But I think we stated that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll follow up like, there. I would not be too concerned with like territorial claims. It's just like if people are interested in working on something, <laughs> just like working on it, who cares what, what uh, like if there is some other thing, right? And it's not a concern. There should be some synchronization, but I agree that, that I don't see a concern about us doing this. On the contrary, I have been yapping about this for like five years now, um, so I would love to see a push in this direction. Amazing. So let's let's uh, have that on the next uh, next meeting agenda, and in free time, please uh, in offline add more feedback if you have any. Mm -hmm. And Matt, good point about scope. Okay. Yeah, I actually yeah, I would just, assume this is relevant broadly as well. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. I actually have a hard cut. Um, so any other topics or are we done? If not, see you on the mailing list on Slack and in two weeks. Thank you. Thank you, Richie, for leaving yeah. this. All right. yep. It was super efficient. <laughs> German efficiency. <laughs> See ya. Bye bye. Cheers. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.